What's up everybody? I have some friend mail here that I want to share with you all. And this first package here actually comes from Hen Dog. And if you watch Funko News, then you've seen some of his pictures before. He takes some really great pictures of Pops. As a matter of fact, he sent me um, this image here. This is a Pop that I actually sent to him, the Zombie Red Hulk. And he took an awesome picture of it. And then he sent me a copy of it on canvas, which I thought was really cool. And I pretty much considered that to be um, a birthday gift. My birthday was a good while ago now. It was um, August 15th. But um, still, he wanted to send me something else. It's like a belated uh, birthday gift, basically. So he sent me this box here, which um, I did open it up. I haven't pulled out the items yet. I can already see, though, that, that there is um, a post-it here that looks like it has some text on it. Let me just pull that out first. Um, and it says here, Happy Birthday, FM, Hen Dog. P.S. Sorry it's late and no need to apologize at all, Hen Dog. You really didn't have to send me anything at all. You know, um, just... Letting me use your pictures for Funko News is really already a gift. I consider that to be a gift, basically, because, like I said, you know, he, he takes some really awesome pictures. You all do make sure that you check him out on Instagram. Like I said, really awesome images there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the items, and this is what the um, post-it note was attached to. So we have here a Hot Wheels Skeletor car. This is really awesome here. Oh, I especially like the look of it dead on there. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So I'll have to put this on the wall over there um, by my Master of the Universe collection. And I can see already he sent me a He-Man one as well. Well, I might like the He-Man one even more. I really like the colors on that. Oh, and it does have the sword on the side as well. So that is pretty cool. I kind of like what Hot Wheels is doing with these um, character um, related cars. They got some Marvel ones, some DC. They got some everything going on. So, um, yeah, these are pretty cool. Actually, now that I think about it, I hadn't seen the Masters of the Universe ones around. I've mainly been seeing the Marvel ones around. But, yeah, I definitely appreciate those. And then I see that we have a, uh, a soda here. Oh, <laughs> this is cool. He actually put on here, good luck. Now, um, he might he may have sent this out. Like I actually did... Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you all know I did get the Emily Chase if you didn't see that previous video. So I have the comment and the chase. I'm still going to open this up though mainly because um, I, and I think Hen Dog would understand that I do have a friend, a really close friend, Cat D, that's looking for um, the chase as well. So I'm going to open this up and see if I can pull a chase for um, Cat D. And I definitely do appreciate this um, Hen Dog, you know, for you sending this as well. So let's see what kind of, if I have some more luck. Because actually the first um, Emily that I opened up actually was the chase. I didn't realize it at first because the chase is glow in the dark. So you see there it is, 10,000 pieces. And this is one that you actually can still track down if you're interested in it. I think um, some people just don't really know much about um, Corpse Bride basically. But check it out. If you like Nightmare Before Christmas, you probably would like Corpse Bride. I'm going to go ahead and check the Pog actually. Yeah, this is actually a common. So, um... I feel like Cat D actually has the comment already. I'm not sure. I'll check with her. But if she doesn't need this, then, um, you know, I will find a good home for this, basically. I don't want it to, you know, like go to waste. Because, like I said, I already have this in my collection. But I definitely do appreciate that. And there's one more item in here. From the shape of it, it looks like a pop pin. And, yo, I can actually see which one it is. This is awesome. This is something I almost ordered for myself. That's so cool. Okay, so we actually have the Joker pin, and if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a Chase variant. I think it is. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a Chase sticker on here, but I, I think this is a Chase variant of the Joker. I'm pretty sure, because like I said, I was looking at this on Mercari, and um, I was kind of waiting for the prices to maybe come down. I feel like the prices were just a little bit hefty for it, but that is very cool. And yeah, like I said, I really do think that this is a chase. So that, that is a really awesome gift there. And it looks really cool. I really like the look of that. Thank you so much, Hen Dog, for sending these awesome items my way. I really do appreciate it. Oh, if he, he wants to fall over, I'm just going to lay him down. But um, yeah, like I said, um, yeah, let me use your pictures for Funko News. That's already a great gift within itself. Um, and keep doing what you do. I really do like the pictures that you take of Funko Pops. And like I said, you all do make sure you get over there on Instagram and check out his account. Now, um, I mentioned Cat D just a moment ago. Um, she actually sent me a box as well, and I have it next to me. I went ahead and opened it up. I did cut it open, but I haven't taken any items out yet. Um, I will let you know, I do know two of the items that should 
um, be in here because she basically checked with me while she was in a store to see if I was interested in them. But I'm not sure all of what is in here. Okay, I see she sent me some snacks. So let's go through the snacks here first. Okay, she sent me some Tex-Mex Trail Mix. And I really have been into Trail Mix lately because I'm um, just trying to snack a little bit healthier. And I have learned that snacking throughout the day is a way to kind of keep your metabolism up, you know, and help you lose weight, basically manage your weight. And she sent this one as well, Sweet Cajun Trail Mix, which sounds and looks really good. Okay, so I definitely appreciate those. Then we have, okay, I see the two items that she, um, well, that I knew about, that she already shared with me. But then she also sent um, these two here, these Suicide Squad minis, which I do have a couple of these. Oh, as a matter of fact, I can't remember if I shared it or not. Um, give me just a second here. So last weekend, I went to a wedding, had a really awesome time, and it was great to, um, you know, for a change of scenery, to get away from the house for a while. But um, I did go by a Walgreens, and they had some of these Suicide Squad minis, so I took my time shaking the boxes, trying to see if I could figure out, you know, what they had there. I did end up with one double, and um, I just bought three of them. I ended up with one double, but then with the other two, um, for one, I got the Thinker which his figure looks pretty cool. I like how exaggerated these things are up on his head. Yeah, so that was pretty cool to get. And I liked his inclusion in the movie as well. He didn't do a whole lot, but I thought it was cool that they included that character. And Thinker is one out of 36, so that was pretty lucky, you know, to get Thinker. But then in the other box, I got this Harley Quinn, which was really lucky because that figure is actually one out of 72. So she's the most high valued figure out of this set. Um, that was just amazing luck. You know, um, I was really happy to get that there. And I'll be honest, um, this one here feels like another King Shark. It really feels like it's another King Shark. He's the heaviest out of the set, so he's kind of easy to figure out, but we'll see in a moment because um, I'm wondering if Rat Catcher is a little bit heavy too because of all of the rats on her. Um, we'll see though. And I feel almost like sodas have kind of pushed mystery minis to the side, but I still like mystery minis. Okay, so we have a double here. We actually have a double, and that's perfectly fine, though, of course. Bloodsport is a pretty cool character. Um, they didn't actually do an unmasked mini. I don't think they did. I don't think they had, like, any um, store exclusives with this set. Um, if I'm wrong about that, you know, somebody can correct me, but I don't think they did store exclusives, but yeah, so this will be a double of the, um, Bloodsport figure there for me, but I definitely will find a good home for that. I know Kat is cool about that too, you know, if I end up with a double of something, um, you know, I know she's cool with me finding a good home for it. So, um, like I said already, I really think this is a double of King Shark, but I am going to open it up, of course, and, you know, we'll see, um, you know, confirm that basically. And if it is a double of King Shark, I will find a good home for this as well. Actually, I got a couple of friends that are really into DC like I am, so I know it'll be pretty easy to find a home. And, yeah, I can tell already um, that this is King Shark just by the heft of it. But it is a really well-designed mini. So, yeah, if you're checking out these uh, minis, these Suicide Squad minis, um, King Shark is easy to find if you're looking for him. He definitely feels heavier than the other ones. And he actually is a one out of six as well. In fact, Bloodsport is a one out of six as well. So, yeah, with this set, it is kind of easy to get doubles because of that. You know, and in case you're new to collecting, especially dealing with minis, um, 12 come in a case. So when it's a one out of six, that means that there's going to be two of those in each case, basically. And uh, so, yeah, it'll be easy to get some doubles, basically. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I will find a home for those. And let's go ahead and get to the other um, figures that I knew that she was sending my way. In fact, I'll show both of these at the same time. These are X-Men Cos Babies here. Okay, and we actually have Storm and Wolverine. And I do like Cos Babies. I was talking about them in a recent video. I think I shared another one in a recent video. So yeah, I've been speaking about these. Um, this one says Luminous Reflective Effect. I'm not sure if that actually means something. I've seen some Cos Babies and they have these different terms on them and I don't always know what it's talking about with the feature basically. And some of the features are a bit odd. Like I have a, um, a multicolored Venom one that is magnetic. Like it actually can stick to things. But I'm like, what's the purpose <laughs> really though? So I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they're just kind of stretching to try to figure out some way to make the figures more interesting. But um, these, I'm actually going to leave them in um, 
in the box right now. When I figure out where I'm gonna put them in my collection, then I may put some pictures up on Instagram. But yeah, these are some pretty cool Cos babies here. And um, you notice, of course, that they are inspired by the movies. Yeah, so we have um, the Halle Berry Storm here and the Hugh Jackman Wolverine. And he's actually rocking that original outfit, I think, um, from the first movie, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, these are very cool, and I definitely appreciate these, Cat. Thank you so much for the snacks, the minis, and these Cos babies here. Yeah, I really do appreciate all of these items here. I'm going to quickly share some other Marvel-related items in this video as well. Um, so I've been talking about how I really wanted to get the um, Captain America, um, of course, the Sam Wilson Captain America soda chase because... Um, I've struck out a couple of times on this one previously, so um, another one arrived. It might have been with a Mercari order. I'm not sure, um, but I opened it and, you know, I took a look at it off camera because I was like, I just haven't been having luck with this. So let me just go ahead and take a quick peek. It'll probably be another common and I was wrong, <laughs> you know, so I actually did get the chase uh, and I'm, I'm very relieved to finally have the chase. So the chase is metallic. And he has the wings as well. And there's uh, 2,000 pieces with the chase. So there it goes, the pog with the red background. Yeah, I, I was really relieved to finally see this. And I haven't taken it out of the bag yet. This is my first time opening it up. Yeah, so I'm very happy that I finally got this one. And I can put it with the others. Yeah, oh, the wings look so good right away. Yeah, very awesome. And yeah, he's got the metallic paint job going on. So he is a little bit shinier than the common yeah that is very awesome very happy that I finally have this in my collection and um I do have sort of a uh, a Marvel Disney Plus section within my collection so yeah he'll go right along with that very happy about that okay and then I do have another soda here this one is actually still in the plastic and this will go in that same section of my collection because we have here Captain Carter I think it's so cool with Marvel that you know, they've been able to give attention to so many different characters within Marvel, and they still got hundreds of other characters that they can work with. But the attention that Peggy Carter has been given, you know, having her own series, even though it was short lived and now being part of, you know, Marvel's What If, it's really cool in my opinion. And I really like that actress as well. I think she does a great job with the character. So, yeah, with um, the soda, though, her chase is metallic, so it's not different in terms of the mold. It's just metallic. But um, this is my first. Um, Captain Carter. I may have one or two more on the way. Um, you know, so if this is the common, I'm okay with that. I'll still have another chance at the chase. I'm going to actually just go ahead and check the figure out. Yeah, right away it looks like the common to me. It doesn't look metallic. Which, like I said, is fine because I do have some more of these on the way. But this is a very cool figure. Yeah, I really like her design. And the hairstyle, I mean, you know, the hair sculpt is just done so well. And just the colors, you know, I mean, it's still, you know, she's representing the UK, of course, but still that color scheme just looks really awesome. I, I'm very curious. I'm, I'm really wondering if they're going to figure out a way to maybe, oh, never know, maybe in um, the next Doctor Strange movie, if we'll actually see Captain Carter in live action. That would be amazing to see, actually. Really, really good looking Pog, too. That's some really nice artwork. Some characters have some crazy faces on the Pogs, but, yeah, they made her, hers look really nice. So, that is very cool. Yeah. I, I would like the chase, though. I'm not going to lie. I would like the chase. So, we'll see what happens with the other ones that I receive. Um, next up here, I actually keep forgetting what this is. I still had this in the sorter. Um, let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, okay. So, this is... The Sam Wilson uh, Captain America. This is the Amazon exclusive. Yeah, I've really been waiting on this one here. And I actually want to get this one out of box because um, I like what they did with it. And you see it's part of the Year of the Shield line that they have going on with Amazon. This one might still be listed. I'm not 100% sure, but you can check to see. I definitely don't have all these figures back here, but I may add some more to my collection eventually. Um, I kind of actually like the, the John F. Walker one a little bit. Um, that, that character, I have mixed feelings about him, but I think we're kind of meant to have mixed feelings about him. Um, I'm very interested to see, though, what they do with him in the future. I think he is going to be a part of the Thunderbolts. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that character plays out, basically. Okay, I'm going to sit that off to the side, but yeah, check this out here. Yeah, like I said, I like how they have it. looks like um, bullets bouncing off of the shield, basically, there. 
and he he just looking all cool you know and calm about it i like that so yeah this is a pretty cool figure and i do have the other ones i had the one of him uh with the wings and i think um the common as well i want to say i had that so yeah I, I just had to get all of these because i'm just so happy that we now have you know the sam wilson captain america and he's going to get his own movie that's that's really cool to me I actually have another Amazon Marvel exclusive here, and I'm still shocked by how fast this arrived. I mean, Amazon is just incredible sometimes. But yeah, we have here the Taskmaster exclusive, which, you know, now that I think about it, this is part of, I think this is supposed to be part of the Year of the Shield as well. But um, I guess they forgot the sticker on it here. But I'm fine with that because then you can see more of the character, actually. Oh, and they actually got him holding... This this is kind of I'm gonna get this one out here as well. Oh, and by the way, in the back of the box, nothing too interesting. It just has his logo, but I want to get this one out as well because it looks like they got him holding just all of his weapons there, which looks kind of crazy. Right, so he has the sword obviously, but yeah, he actually has the shield there, and then he has his um, bow beneath it. You know, he's holding the bow beneath it there. They just kind of put all his weapons together, and you can even see the knife there that's in the um, hilt on his back. So. Yeah, they really loaded him up with weapons there. Of course, um, oh, he has the gun. Yeah, they do have it. They got the gun on his hip there as well. So, yeah, they got pretty much all the classic Taskmaster weapons on him. I've got a list of paint splotch there. Yeah, I think this will come off. I don't want to really mess with it right now, but I think that paint, that paint splotch can be taken care of there. But, yeah, this is a pretty cool, good, you know, really nice comic book version of Taskmaster here. And Taskmasters, um, you know, the movie version, the MCU version, is another character that could be part of the Thunderbolts. You know, we'll see what happens with that. Another nice find that I had from Target is I did actually finally catch up to the Black Light Black Panther pin. And they actually had a couple of these. And um, I actually had two of these. You know, I just, I'm just i sharing one right now, but I got two of these. One of them, I'll figure out somewhere. I might put it in the prize pool or I might actually put like a Marvel box together as a giveaway in the future I haven't really decided yet but yeah I was very happy to catch up to this black light pen and um, I was looking for some of the black light pops as well but um, I'll go ahead and tell you if you haven't checked it out what I what I shared on Instagram so I go into this target and there's um, two workers near the electronics section you know I always check around the electronics section because sometimes they sit new figures there and this guy he saw my shirt you know I had on a uh, pop tee and he's like, uh, can I help you with anything? But I think he already knew what I was looking for. And I said, I was looking for the pops and he pointed them out. And then he was like, he's like, yeah, I got some um, black light uh, Marvel pops that I'm trying to get rid of. And immediately I'm thinking that's just so dirty because obviously, you know, when I went and checked, there were no actual black light pops on the shelves. But this worker at Target, you know, has black light Marvel pops that he's trying to sell. That, that was just pretty dirty to me. And of course, not all Target employees are like that. You know, in fact, I know some cool ones. You know, um, one one supporter of the channel, um, Nicole, she works at Target. She's a really awesome individual, really nice individual. So I know not all of the employees are like that. But, yeah, I thought that was just pretty dirty of him to not even hide the fact that he's flipping figures from his job, you know. But, you know, it is what it is. I am thankful to have this pen here. I got one more thing I'm going to share here, which I don't think there were ever any leaks for this. And I haven't seen anybody sharing it on um, social media, but I kind of got a feeling that some people may have just skipped this all together. I actually have here the Marvel Collector Core Shang-Chi box, which um, Shang-Chi or Shang-Chi, you know, however you pronounce it there. Um, I did see the movie, was not really blown away. It's not a bad movie, but um, not especially memorable to me. It had a couple of action sequences I liked, um, some characters that I liked, but I don't know. I, I just wasn't really blown away by it, but... Um, yeah, I, I keep my Collector Core subscription going just because um, I don't ever want to have a time when there's something I really want and then it's tough to get the box. Or um, And you know, also because I have a YouTube channel, if I don't like something in the box, I can find a home for it pretty easily. So I do see a shirt right up top, which I am happy about that. I'm definitely happy about that. And it does look like it has a good design. So let's go ahead and check this out here. Now, already I'm happy with this box just on the strength of this. This is actually pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And I normally don't wear red, but I mean, this is a dope shirt, so I will be rocking this. Yeah, I had not seen any leaks for this. That is a very cool shirt. I think this is uh, one of the better shirts, although 
I will give Collector Core credit. Their, their shirts tend to be pretty cool overall. Okay, next up here we do have a pin. We have a pin there of, um, what did they call him? The Great One, I think. Yeah, with some of the early reveals, like some people were wondering, is um, Fin Fang Foom involved? But, um, you know, we have the Great One here, though. This I think this character is called the Great One. Yeah, so I do like pins, and they, they do tend to give out, um, you know, pins with the Collector Core. Uh, we do have a decal here as well, or a sticker. This creature, I can't remember what the name is, but it actually is from um, Chinese mythology. You know, it wasn't created just for the movie. And I actually have already seen um, plushes of this, I think, made by different companies. I don't think Funko put one out. Yeah, but this, um, I'm not going to give away anything about the movie if you haven't checked it out yet. But that, yeah, that is a creature within the movie, though. I just won't say more than that. Okay, and people, we have two pops here. I will show you first, though. Um, yeah, Eternals is going to be the focus of the next box. And I haven't picked up anything Eternals related yet. I got to see the movie first, and then maybe I'll be tempted to get some of the figures. You know, we'll see. But, um, yeah, I'm keeping my subscription going, so I will be getting that box. So, yeah, we have two Shang-Chi Pops here. Oh, I see what they did. Okay. So, we have an actual Shang-Chi here, and he's wearing the rings. He actually has the rings at that point. So, I mean, I guess that is a movie spoiler at this point. Maybe I'll put a spoiler alert um, somewhere within this video. But, yeah, um... So I just, I'm just going to go ahead and say it at this point. Yeah, if you watch the movie, you know by the end he actually does get possession of the rings. So that is actually pretty cool. For the sake of time, I'm going to just leave that one in the box, though. And then I'm actually happy with this other one here as well. We actually have his sister here, Shang-Chi's sister, who is um, more important to the story than I expected, which I think is pretty cool. And they set her up for future possibilities in the MCU. So... Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that, although I kind of wish she was holding a weapon, maybe. I think that would make her just a little bit cooler, but overall, that's pretty awesome there. And I actually do have this Shang-Chi pop. I decided to get that one before I saw the movie because I do like that action pose. Just not so worried about these other ones, except, well, I don't know. Maybe I will go back and get the common variant of his sister now. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, overall, pretty decent box, you know, especially if you're a big fan of the movie. This is a pretty solid box here, so if you didn't pick this up, you might um, still be able to get it on Amazon. If it's not listed right now, more than likely it will be listed again soon, so just be on the lookout for that. But overall, like I said, pretty pretty awesome box. I'm surprised. And um, yeah, really love the shirt there. Yeah, so that's cool. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Um, again, big thank you to Hand Dog and Cat D for sending those items my way. I really do appreciate that. And I'm very happy with my haul all together here. Let me know what you think about the items that I got and I shared within this video. Um, also, let me know what you picked up recently as well. I do appreciate you all taking the time to check this out. And I will talk to you all again real soon.